Hello and welcome back. Today I want to speak about how to file your taxes as a foster parent. So while this may seem like a straightforward process, there's a couple things to consider. If you had a child in your care last year, you may actually be entitled to a tax credit. So in order to figure this out, you need to first see if you had a child if, were they in your care for more than six months. If it's less than that, then it doesn't apply and that's the end of it. Also, if you have a complex tax situation, I really recommend that you talk to your accountant and see how best to handle this process. Now for us, we have a straightforward tax process. Uh, all we need to do is we need to get the child's social security number from our social worker or from our family resource worker. Now, this sometimes is a lot easier said than done. You'll have times where parents refuse to provide it or DCF simply just doesn't have it handy and they have to go hunt it down through the social security office. If this happens, it definitely can be a longer process and that's why I wanted to create this video early January so that you have enough time to get the necessary documentation so that you can file as early as possible. Now, the reason that you want to file early is because if the parents file before you and claim the child, you won't be able to. Now, they shouldn't do this, but it would be a matter of you would have to then claim it. It's going to get kicked back by the IRS, and then it's just a whole process where it's just needless complexity. Uh, you might get audited, you know, just a whole mess you don't really want to get involved with. So you want to go ahead and get that Social Security number as soon as possible for any children that have been in your care for more than six months file your taxes. Now, in the example of using a product such as TurboTax, you actually will go through the, uh, the wizard and one of the parts will ask you if you had any children in your care or if you have any biological children or some sort of wording like that. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna get the child's official first name and last name. Uh, we've had some situations where the name that was provided to DCF when the child was brought in actually wasn't their legal name. Uh, it wasn't for any malicious reasons, it's just different documentations have different names and unfortunately if you can't get your hands on the social security card, the actual you know green card, then you probably would have to do is contact the social security office and provide some other form of documentation so that you can get the child's legal name. In our case, we were able to reach out to a different parent of that child and they told us what their actual legal name was. So while this process seems like it should be fairly straightforward, there's just some really important things to remember. And like I mentioned, you wanna do it early. You wanna get on top of this now. Uh, I know taxes aren't due until, was it, April 15th or in the case of Massachusetts, usually April 16th because we have the Boston Marathon. You know, every state is gonna be different in regards to when your actual filing date is, but federally it's April 15th. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding about how to file your taxes as a foster parent. Like I said, it is straightforward, but you, you know, there's a couple pieces you wanna be aware of. And again, I can't stress it enough. If you have a complex tax situation where you own multiple businesses or you have multiple lines of income or whatever it happens to be, then definitely just have an accountant take care of this. Let them know that you have a child in your care, you're a foster parent, give them documentation, and you should be fine. Now, one additional thing I'll say is I have read instances where people have tried to file for a child and there's some sort of a discrepancy, be it that the parents did it earlier or there's something, just some other complex matter. What you want to do in that case is you want to reach out to your family resource worker and actually get a letter saying, so stating that this child is in your care, the dates that they've been in your care, if they continue to be, and then, of course, their social security number to once again provide to the IRS. So that's all I have for this topic. Next week, we're gonna actually talk about how my wife and I are in the process of an adoption. And it's a long process. Uh, we're actually gonna sit down together. It's the first time she's gonna be with me on the camera. And we're gonna learn and speak about the whole process and kind of just answer any questions that you guys might have. So in the meantime, if you have any questions on the adoption process or anything in regards to foster, leave a comment below. Please subscribe, like this video, hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos come out, and I'll see you in the next one.